Right, hello peeps. Um, if anyone saw my, well, one of the ten, ten of you that saw my video the other day on the cabinet I built uh, above the foot, head end of the bed, um, somebody asked me about the construction materials of what the cupboards are made of. Um, basically, they're made of aluminium extrusions. This is your basic aluminium extrusion. Um, I think it's used in most ambulances. Um, I've, I've worked on a couple of was bodied ones and it's very similar. Um, this is a Wilker body conversion. And this is what they use. This is what I just call the large section. Um, it's about two inches wide, half inch thick, and it's got two channels running down either side. You see that? In the end, you've got these clamp sections. What these clamp sections are for, if you can see that, that's closed up. And when it's closed up like that, you can slide it in the slot of any other piece that's got the slot in it and you slide it along this is the wrong way around obviously and you get the position you want and then you simply do the clamp up and there you go you've got a right angle and you can do that for any any position in that slot and I'll show you how that works in the end you've got these jaws which are naturally closed up like that. And as you do the Allen key up, if you can see that, it forces them apart. It might work better in reverse. If I undo it, you'll see them close up. So as you do it up, they force out and they clamp themselves into that rail. That's the basic method of fixing them together. Now then, this is what I call the large sections. I say it's about two inches wide, half inch thick, two runners either side. This also comes in this style. This style has got a right angle built into it. This is usually used for the top rail of a cupboard. As you can see, there's two holes there. This would have been screwed to the ceiling or screwed to a wall. And then this would have been used as a fixing point to fix the cupboard frame to the vehicle. There's a third type you've got, which is this, which looks the same, but it's got a shape to the bottom. This would normally be your lower outer part of a cupboard. So it's smooth at the bottom, so you don't bang your head on it and it's sharp. And it's also got a lip on the inside, so you can screw the base of your cupboard to it. There's, an, well, as you can see, it's same, got the same mounting points on the end. So if this was screwed, this piece was screwed to a wall you would slide this piece in like that and this would be your side piece that's screwed to a wall and this would be your bottom piece and it's got a nice finish to it they also use this as an upright this this i think this one had a cupboard door on it actually so it would have been an upright piece and that would just would be a nice finish now when it comes to these curved sections, you've also got this, which is more like your traditional, um, you've probably seen it on Humble Road or a few other American sites, they're all getting into using this 80-20 aluminium extrusion for building cupboards. This is basically your 80-20, but it's got a 45 radius on it. This is also a corner piece, so it, this would go as the corner of a cupboard and you'd have the front of the cupboard coming off there and the side of the cupboard going back there to the wall. or it could be the bottom of a cupboard on the wall and you'd have your door coming off of there and that would be a fixed in bottom. Turn you around, you can see on the bottom of this cupboard here, that same profile, this is a slightly smaller profile. Is it? Yeah, this is a slightly smaller profile, that one. And it's got the lip on the inside and that is, the bottom of the cupboard so it's nicely contoured under there so you don't bash your head on something sharp these particular cupboards also have the same profile with the radius on the ends not all cupboards have it like that it's just usually ones you can bang your head on when you stand up um, construction is exactly the same with these you decide where you want your, your divider to go slot it in do the screw up, it's fixed in place. That's how you build your cabinet work. It's pretty much the same as 
your usual woodwork where you just get bits of wood and screw them together but instead you're using aluminium it's stronger i wouldn't say it's a lot lighter i mean this piece of aluminium here probably weighs about the same as the equivalent piece of two by two timber it's a damn sight stronger especially in that direction not so much in compression well it's still still stronger in compression but wood is so strong in compression you'd be hard, hard pressed to put enough force onto it to be able to break the wood in compression in that direction downwards you know you'd have to put a lot of weight on it to break a piece of wood in that direction this will just take a lot more um, then if that's your large sections these are your small sections they come again with a lip on so you can screw it to the roof or to the wall and again it comes in this profile which is the same as this profile but this size also comes in sort of a triple profile this you would use as a say you've got your cupboard say this is your cut side of your cupboard and you screw this and uh, what well you bolt this onto there then you'd have a plate a sheet coming off of there a sheet coming off of there and then a sheet coming off the back so where you need to have three sheets meeting you'd use this piece now the way the sheets I've been describing fit is that if I can do this without knocking anything off which I can't this is your typical sheet it's a sh typical sheet of UPVC it's what goes in between these they're on the edge you can see there they're routed out the edge is routed out see and what that does is that slides into your profile this has been routed out for a large profile so it's slightly deeper as you can see it sits in there like that that means the front face it doesn't matter how crooked your cut is because the actual cut is hidden inside and then what the uh, builders do is they glue this in place with Sikaflex so you've got a sheet like this completely framed in this and it's as strong as you like I mean you don't have to use this it is a bit of a pain having to route the edge there if you haven't got a router I use a circular saw set the depth and cut down to, to route the edge you could just use a piece of ply that sorry for the noise that fits in that gap um, I may even have a piece here handy. It'll be the first time I've ever done anything in advance and it's worked out. See, you could fit a piece of ply in that gap and then it still looks finished. Still looks nice, you know, perfectly usable. But not as strong. It will absorb water, it'll get damp, it'll get mouldy. It's not medical grade clean, for want of a better term. The clamps that you see, they, they're, they're, they're weird, they slide together and when you do that bolt up, this is one I've drilled out because the bolt are totally rounded off, as you do the bolt up that opens up like that and grips in that channel, as you can see it slides in that channel and as you do it up it opens up, which this one's now going to refuse to do, it opens up and grips the channel so it won't pull out and when you undo it it will close back up and then it pulls out the channel and that's how you put the covers together it's just a giant Meccano set um, if you do a search on YouTube or Google for 8020 it's very big in America at the moment and uh, they're making all their cabinets out of it there's a very good channel called Humble Road um, he does a lot of all these furniture buildings built in 1820 8020 and basically what you end up with is cupboards that look like that you've got your small side this the small size piece bolted to a large size piece that runs across that bolts into another large size piece on the other side that then runs up and you've got another cross member here just to give it support and that's generally how all the cupboards are built in ambulances